Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be taking this 2023 Genesis GV60 on EPU VTest Drive. It is fully electric and it is Genesis first electric car. The color is called Hanona Mint and it does look right on this performance trim. There is three trims to choose from. There is the performance and the advance and I did review the advance but I couldn't drive it because it was sold. This one is the performance does produce more horsepower and torque than the advanced trim but let's go ahead and take this gv60 on e test drive and see how it does All right, so here is the interior of this 2023 Genesis GV60. So this is Genesis' first electric car or SUV. Um, anyways, does look pretty good from the inside. I really love the fact that climate control is nice and slim and very easy to use. Here is the fan speed, off, auto, temperature, some shortcuts underneath. There is two USB-Cs in the bottom, storage place, 112 volt. Here is the shifter that will control the one speed automatic transmission this right here will control the screen volume knob tune knob or wheel and a good amount of buttons right here heated steering wheel heated seats cold seats wireless phone charger inside there is a tiny bit of storage place the armrest is nice and soft two 12.3 inch uh, screens and the backup camera looks very very good it does have a lot of views and it does have the th uh, 3d view which i am a big fan of but i just don't like the fact that the car is finished in this neon color it would have been nice if it was finished in the same color as this car here is a 360 and yeah overall backup camera resolution is very very good um i think when you turn off the car this actually goes in let me see if this one actually does it yes it does so very very nice let's go ahead and turn on the car and it's nice but if it gets stuck then definitely not nice screens are nice and responsive and um, overall the interior looks very very nice but let's go ahead and take it on a test drive and see how this performance trim will do because it does have more horsepower and torque than the advanced trim so it is in comfort mode at the moment and we're gonna see how this performance trim will perform um, I'm gonna take it on the highway and I'll definitely test the power uh, of this performance EV60 so very very smooth and I really like that so definitely Genesis did a great job with the way how this thing drives so this one is a performance uh, trim but it does have the electronically uh, controlled suspension but I'm feeling that the suspension is a little bit on the stiffer side So yeah, definitely the suspension is a little bit on the stiffer side and I do understand this is the performance trim so it should have a stiffer suspension but it's just, I feel like Genesis could, could have done a little bit better job with the suspension. So we're gonna go ahead and take this um, GV, let's see where is the drive mode. The drive mode button is actually right here. Let's click the boost line. <laughs> so, very, very quick. 0 to 60 in this GV60 is 3.4 seconds. And honestly, this thing feels faster than my Tesla Model 3. This thing seriously moves and 
around turns, it's actually nice and flat. It doesn't feel heavy. And that acceleration was seriously something else. <laughs> so it does have some paddle shifters. Those paddle shifters are for the regen braking or the eye pedal drive. Wow, this thing is seriously insane. And it does have a really nice cool sound. You could actually change this sound if you want to. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about power because this GV60 has a ton of power. So it does have 429 horsepower and 446 pound-feet of torque. And this performance trim has a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery. There is an electric motor in the front and there is one in the back, so it does so it is all we drive. Uh, the, uh, the electric motor in the front is a 160 kilowatt electric motor and there is one in the back. It is 160 kilowatt as well. But seriously, this thing moves. So with the boost bind, it does actually bring up the horsepower numbers from 429 horsepower to 483. So this GV60 actually has almost like a turbo lag. You hit the pedal and it doesn't go as fast, then it pushes you back to the seat. So almost like a turbo lag. But let's go ahead and put this back in sport mode and do that again. I didn't get that lag in sport mode, but I did get it in comfort mode. I'll definitely give that a try when I have on the other side of the highway. And of course, it does have all the nice safety features. This one is almost 70,000. And I personally think it's a little bit expensive, but you do get a good amount of features. Two 12.3 inch screens and Such a beautiful drive. Brake pedal feels nice and touchy. The pedal itself, the gas, the um, the accelerator pedal feels very, very um, responsive. And this thing is seriously quick. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change the sound. So when you accelerate, you could actually change the sound of this um, SUV. You could go to advanced settings and you could Let's go ahead and do E motor. So there is futuristic, there is G engine and E motor. Let's go ahead and try this. Beautiful interior. It is nice and comfortable and um, everything is nice and soft. Suede wrapped in leather. All windows are automatic up and down. Bang & Olufsen uh, sound system. And um, again, guys, this one is almost 70,000, uh, I think. It's kind of it's kind of expensive so I want to talk about the range because the range is actually not my favorite 235 miles on a full charge I personally think that Genesis could have done a little bit better let's go ahead and do another acceleration right here and I'll talk about the range and the charging speed so 10 seconds of more horsepower <laughs> Brake pedal feels very nice and touchy, which I love. And um, this GV60 has all the nice safety features. So it does have lane keeping assist, emergency braking, steering assist, blind spot monitoring system. And it's nice to have all those nice safety um, things. But let's go ahead and activate the cruise controls the cruise control and steering assist so everything is working now and let's go ahead and bring the speed up to 60 miles per hour so on a full charge you are going to get 235 miles which i personally don't think it's a lot and that takes 7.2 
hours to fully charge to 235 miles on a 240 volt outlet so a dryer outlet will take seven hours to fully charge this gv60 to 235 miles and uh, of course you could do it on 120 uh, volt but probably that's going to charge two miles or three miles per hour and the charging speed is actually not bad on this gv60 and again guys it does have two electric motors one in the front one in the back and both of them are 160 uh, kilowatt and it does have a 77 kilowatt hour battery so 235 miles on a full charge i don't think that's enough honestly i wish it was around 260 250 does have heads-up display does have apple carplay and android auto but not wireless apple carplay and android auto i really wish it was a wireless very nice responsive system and the interior looks very good um, there is two buttons right here so this and this button they will basically uh, do shortcuts like let's say if you want to turn on apple carplay and android auto you could set this button to do that if you want this button to answer or um uh end calls it could do that so and this button will do the same thing too so you could have two buttons that will do different things genesis safety features are very good the lane keeping assist steering assist is one of the best and um yeah just the whole system overall is very very good so as i said it does have some paddle shifters that's for the regen braking so you could uh, basically um, if you don't want you to use the brake pedal you could uh, adjust it with the paddle shifters so the car will slow down um, or you could just just turn it off and you will hit the brake and then you will basically will control everything so i do have the regen on max so when i let go off the um, accelerator it will actually slow down but if i put that on level zero i let go and the car will keep um cruising or it will keep going i personally like the regen braking it's better for the brake pads and um i think it's better for the battery because it will uh, save a little bit battery again guys the brakes are very very nice and touchy and the brake pedal has a really nice bite to it which i really really like so interior looks good um Everything feels high quality. Everything is nice and soft. There is cold seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel, two cup holders, nice storage place in the bottom. There is two USB-Cs in the bottom and there is a wireless phone charger right here. And uh, I did not bring my USB Type-C. I do have the Type-A, so I can't plug it into the um, ports to be able to um, activate Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Seats are nice and comfortable. Seeing out of this SUV slash car is very easy. The mirrors are nice and big. Seeing from the back is not honestly the best. So I really wish that the back window was a little bit bigger. Um, there is some LED lights and there is a panoramic sunroof. It does not open, it is fixed, but there is a shade. And steering wheel is wrapped in leather. I think it does have a really nice design to it. The acceleration is very very smooth and again guys this one is the performance trim and this is the most expensive gv60 you could buy there is the advanced trim which i think is around like 57 58 thousand but this performance trim is very quiet from the inside there is barely any wind noise there is no road noise with those 21 inch uh, rims um, I think the size is 235 or 255 40 21 so this thing is seriously quiet inside the cabin there is no road noise no wind noise there's nothing coming from the 
uh, from the uh, suspension into the cabin when, hit, when hitting potholes or anything like that. Let's go ahead and put this thing in sport mode. I'm going to activate the boost. Again, guys, 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds, which is insane. So, <laughs> amazing. Um, the graphics are nice, but I really wish that the other things were not grayed out. <laughs> I did hit the boost button later, but even without the boost button, this thing is seriously quick. So I got pushed back to the seat once, and then when I hit the boost button, I got pushed again to the seat. This thing is very confident, very comfortable, nice and responsive, and I really like this thing. 429 horsepower and 446 pound-feet of torque. The turning radius is actually pretty good. I like it. <laughs> this thing just moves. Let's go ahead and do an acceleration right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing in sport mode. So it is in sport mode. It does have this camera right here. Uh, so the blind spot camera. Uh, there is a camera underneath the mirrors for the 360 uh, view this um, GV60 has. So when you activate the turn signal indicator, left or right, it will display it inside of that 12 inch uh, screen. So you could actually turn on this GV60 uh, with a fingerprint, you could use your fingerprint, which is this one right here. And uh, there is a face ID outside the car. You could use your face to unlock it and you could use your finger to turn on the car. And uh, I think that's very good if you're going on a hike or going somewhere, you don't wanna take the keys with you, you don't wanna lose them if you're going to the gym. So I think it's very nice and convenient. Traction control works very good and uh, just keeps this car very controlling. The steering assist is a little bit on the aggressive side. It just wants to turn on all the time. So sometimes I just turn it off. And again, guys, 235 miles on a full charge for a $70,000 car. I don't think that's acceptable. I think the range should have been more than 250 on this um, trim. On something like a Tesla Model 3, you could get 350, uh, 3 or 350 something or 360 something actually after the update, I think, on the dual range um, Model 3. On the Model Y, you could get around like 328, 330. So, Definitely, Genesis need to work on the range. But seriously, this thing just moves. It is very fun, even though it's electric. And um, it is very, very comfortable, so I like that. Let's go ahead and put this thing back in comfort mode. I wanna go ahead and change the sound. Let's go ahead and go back, vehicle, let's go ahead and go to advance, <laughs> let's do the G engine, okay, and then let's do the E motor, <laughs> so Overall, I really like this GV60. It is such a beautiful SUV slash car slash compact SUV, whatever you want to call it. I really think it is good. But for 70,000, I feel like Genesis could have gave us a little bit more range. Charging speed is actually not bad. Seven hours on, seven hours on a 240 volt um, is not too bad, but just the range. If they fix that, I think 
a lot of people would buy it so very comfortable very very fast faster than my tesla model 3 performance at least it felt like it but yeah seriously very impressed with this thing and i really like what genesis did so this is their first electric car and i personally think they are doing amazing so i hope you guys enjoyed this pov test drive with this 2023 genesis gv60 if you guys are around if you guys are interested make sure to come and see nick here at genesis of milford here in connecticut and if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this please like and subscribe because it does help a lot and as always i'll see you next time